With temperatures climbing this week, dog owners are being reminded to guard against the dangers of heat related injuries or even worse. The now KC's Mackenzie Nelson tells us how to help our pets cope in the summer heat. As the warmer summertime temperatures are here, it's important to remember that dogs are just like humans. They're vulnerable to injuries and illnesses related to the hot weather. <laughs> The thing to remember about dogs, they have a hard time breathing. They don't sweat like we do. On hot days like today, it's best to avoid the hours of peak heat. That's between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. Bring your dogs inside. It's always smarter that way. If you've got air conditioning, even better. Um, but dogs need to be cooled down just like humans, but they have a harder time doing it. Those hours can put animals at a higher risk of heat stroke, suffering symptoms like heavy, heavy panting. Dogs cool, cool off through panting, but if they're over panting, if they're um, having trouble breathing, if they look a little disoriented, if their eyes have glazed over. If your pet is experiencing any of those symptoms, there's a few things you can do immediately to help. Ice packs to the neck, to the head, cool, cool water, not cold water over their body will help. It's not only the heat and humidity in the air, but the temperature of the ground can be another danger to our pets. The pavement gets so hot, it'll burn their feet. You can test the heat of the ground by laying the back of your hand against the surface for at least five seconds. And that's what one couple says they do. She tends to walk in the pavement a lot, so I always try to be like, Fergie, come on, let's go on the grass. So we try to keep her on the grass as much as we can. Cars are another dangerous environment to be aware of. The Humane Society of Missouri says their motto is 70 degrees and over, don't take Rover. If it's 75 degrees outside, a car can heat up to 116 degrees in an hour. The best way to keep your pets safe this summer is to keep a watchful eye. I mean, always being attentive to them, like, like making sure what, it's like watching what they're doing and when you're outside with them, watching what they like and they not, not like. One last seemingly obvious but commonly forgotten rule, keep your pet's water bowls topped off. Field says your dogs will enjoy it even more if you throw a few ice cubes in there. In KCK, I'm Mackenzie Nelson, the Now KC.